Tell them I was happy and my heart is broken. All my scars are open. Tell them what I hoped would be impossible. Impossible, impossible, impossible. That is a line from a song named Impossible. It basically explains what I was going through in my transition from fourth grade through fifth grade. I was bullied for the most of fourth grade for being weird. The only person I lived for was my cousin. She deeply impacted me. I didn't think she would ever leave my side or ever leave me in such a bad state. My name is Anaya Sheikh, and I would want people to know that there will be someone always there for you. My god sister. She was living in my family before I was even born, and for a very long time, I thought she was my real sister. And why wouldn't I? I always found her besides me, with me. When when I was born, she was 14 years old, older than me. As we grew up together, we made good memories. She even got me thinking at school, is the day over yet, or can I see her now? I didn't think she would ever leave me, but that wasn't the plan. When I, I moved to Alpharetta in third grade because I was intimidated by a teacher and bullied by students. I felt like a total failure. I asked my parents to move, and we did. We moved when I was in third grade. My god sister still lived with me. By now, she was in college, and she had to study and focus, but she still made time for me. Finally, she had to leave. This was a doomsday for me. I didn't think we should ever, we would have ever survived without each other. I was in the worst state of my mind when she left me. I got bad grades in class. I didn't focus and I was disappointed in myself. My mom helped me until fourth grade school year came around. That's when I was downright too harsh on myself. There are three things that happened in fourth grade that made me sick and tired of myself. Number one, bullying. I was bullied, but this bully was one of the worst I had ever had to face alone. People were against me and were on her side. She would say mean things to me every day, like, why are you so fat? Or life would be better without you in this world. And I agreed with her. Number two, depression. I was depressed because of her. She, I was always thinking of killing myself. One day I told her to stop because I wanted to commit suicide. What she said was stabbing knives in my heart. She said, that's okay. The world would benefit without, with you dying. And I agreed with her. Because of her, I started eating less and I didn't really want to even live anymore. And this, and this was a very bad state of mind. Number three, my god sister leaving me. She was in a relationship and she had to go. And I understood. I told myself it would have been okay, but bully continued in school. She did not change at all. Now I transitioned to f fifth grade. I thought through my approach towards life. As three things made me feel worthless, I thought about three things to make my fifth grade meaningful. One, focus. Focus to keep my head high above the meaningless disturbances around me. Focus on my studies so that I'm able to go to the next grade level. Number two, bully treatment. Your opinion is not important to me, and I'm choosing to put myself on a timeout from you. It was actually funny to put myself on a timeout from the bully. It truly annoyed her. Number three, my god sister. Yes, I still miss her. The care, affection, humor, adventure. Well, I gathered all of these valuable feelings and gave them to people around me. My baby sister loved me because of this. I and I made it to become a National Elementary Honor Society in fifth grade. It was not impossible after all to emerge victorious. Thank you.